Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the evaporator fan motor grommet in a Frigidaire refrigerator. It's going to be a very easy repair. It should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a flat blisker driver, a quarter inch nut driver, and a pair of pliers. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new evaporator fan motor grommet. This evaporator fan motor grommet is located inside the freezer behind the evaporator cover panel. It absorbs the evaporator fan motor vibration. If you can hear loud noises coming from the evaporator fan area, check the evaporator fan motor grommet and replace it if needed. To get to the part, we need to open the freezer door. Well, uh, we're inside the freezer and uh, you can see that uh, little uh, black thing on the uh, left rear side of the uh, shelf. So this is a stopper. It's technically installed only for the uh, moving of the fridge, but uh, you know, it never hurts to have it because uh, you will feel secure that the shelf is not going to go down. So we're going to push down on this stopper and we're going to remove it. Next, we're going to push this shelf to the left all the way. So the right side will come out from the wall. Um, and I'm going to lift it up and we're going to remove the shelf. So we're going to remove this box uh, using a flat blade screwdriver. We're going to insert it on the top of this uh, tab inside and I'm going to push it down and we're going to remove this cover. Next I'm going to slide this uh, clip which is a uh, ground wire connector. I'm going to use the flat blade screwdriver. I'm going to slide it off. All right, so I'm going to squeeze these two tabs on the side of this plug and push it in. I'm going to use a pair of pliers for that. All right. Next, we need to take out this uh, couple of quarter inch screws that holds the panel. I'm using the quarter inch nut driver and we're going to take them out. Now I'm going to tilt the cover panel forward to free the bottom. Pull it up slightly and I'm going to turn it. And put it down so we can disconnect this plug here. So this is the plug that I'm going to disconnect. There's are two tabs on the side. Squeeze them and pull the plug. Next I'm going to take it to the table and we're going to continue the disassembly. All right next uh, we're going to place it on the table and uh, I would need the uh, flat blast screwdriver. We're going to move the ring so it will clear this uh, tab. And now I'm going to lift it. And I'm going to remove it and don't throw it away. Put it aside. We're going to use it again. So next we're going to do the same thing on this side. So our next move is uh, to remove the air tower from the back. And these four clips are holding it. So we need to slide it this way to release it. We can do it from the other side. All right, so let's uh, bring it up. And I'm going to do a push up on this tower from the bottom. And at the same time, I'm going to push it a little bit back so it will have uh, the upper clip also freed. And now I'm going to remove the fan blade. I'm going to slide it off the shaft. Next, we're going to remove this little washer. 
So next I'm going to place it down again and uh, we're going to remove this uh, rear bracket. So now to free the motor we need to turn this rear bracket counterclockwise. Now I'm going to lift it off, put it aside, we're going to use it again and now I can pull out the motor. So this is our victim here and we need to get rid of it. Very easy, I'm going to push it from uh, outside in and I'm going to pull it from here. This is the old evaporator fan motor grommet next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. And now I'm going to install this uh, beautiful grommet in. This central piece goes into this opening. We're going to need to push it so this groove will lock on this plastic. And the help from, from the bottom. All right. And now I'm going to install the sides into the cutouts here and press it in. And now I'm going to install the motor, place it, the shaft into this opening, press it in. And I'm going to install this bracket. It goes in like that, slightly on the angle, and then I'm going to turn it clockwise to lock. Now I'm going to turn this over, and uh, next I'm going to place uh, this washer onto the shaft. Hopefully you didn't throw it away. Slide it down. Almost touching this uh, grommet. Next I'm going to install the fan blade. It goes on this way. This opening, we're going to slide this on the shaft here. I'm going to support the motor from the back and press on the sh this uh, blade onto the shaft so hard all the way. Now I'm going to install the air tower on. Uh, we've got uh, four tabs here and the four slots. We're going to insert the tabs into the slots and push it down. As you can see, there's a cutouts here which will lock on the metal part. Also, there's a little tab here on the top that will lock into this opening here. I'm going to push it in and press it down. You heard the click. That means the top, top is locked. Now I'm going to put it down. Now I'm going to install the locking rings. One on each side here. I'm going to use the flat blade screwdriver and I'm going to turn it and lock it. And the other side. And now we're going to install it into the fridge. Alright, I'm going to bring it in and uh, we are going to connect this uh, wire harness for the ice maker. So we're going to need to lock it into the cutout, place it in, and push it in. Next I'm going to install this uh, ground wire. It locks on this tab here. Push it on. And uh, the last thing to do is uh, connect the uh, motor plug. Make sure it's locked. We can turn the cover panel and insert the bottom into the cutout. It's an air duct. Push it down and now we're gonna put it up. I'm going to use a quarter inch nut driver and I'm going to install a couple of screws. And now we can install the cover box. I'm going to place these two tabs in the slots at the bottom and bring it up and push it into lock. Alright, so I'm going to install these uh, 
beautiful shell stock clean. And again, I'm gonna place it left side, place in the holes and push it in all the way. So I'm gonna lower down the right side and I'm gonna lock it into the wall. Okay, now I'm gonna place the stopper onto this uh, rear left side of the rack of the shelf. I'm gonna put it on and press it in. And now we can close the freezer door. Plug the fridge back in and make sure it's cooling. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.